In this video, we're going to use uh, Oscar to take a look at the Diels Alder reaction. We'll cover just the basics here, and then we'll have a second uh, video to uh, look at some of the more complicated products pro problems. So we'll start out here by looking at some molecular orbitals. Now, Oscar can calculate the pi molecular orbitals of a system like that by turning on the Huckel MO calculation down here at the bottom. Turn on Huckel and do auto select. What automatically comes up is the highest occupied molecular orbital of each molecule. Butadiene here is first at system one, and uh, ethylene over here is the second molecule at system two. So the, the flow of electrons is from the highest occupied molecular orbital butadiene, simply because the butadiene's highest orbital is higher in energy than that of ethylene. So this is the orbital we want for butadiene. But for ethylene, uh, it's going to accept the electrons. We want its antibonding orbital. So I have to change this one. So I'm going to go to system two down here. This changes it to now the ethylene system. So here's the bonding orbital of ethylene. That's the one that's shown. But this is the antibonding orbital up here. So I click up orbital here, up up here on the MO2, and to get to get to uh, uh, this one up here. So now this is the antibonding orbital of ethylene being shown. And so now if I take the ethylene and I move it underneath, okay, uh, what we'll see now is that there's a perfect symmetry match between this filled orbital on the butadiene. Remember, this has a pair of electrons in it. Let's go back there for a second. That's this orbital, the filled electrons. And uh, this is now the empty orbital in ethylene. Go back to the ethylene. This is, this is this orbital here. And so the electrons from this top molecule can flow into the antibonding orbital of the bottom one. The key thing is, is that the uh, symmetry matches. This has a node down the middle. This has a node down the middle. So we have blue overlaps of blue, green overlaps of green. Now, one of these you think of as plus, one of these you think of as minus. It doesn't matter which is which. It just all works. So this is all set up uh, for us to do uh, uh, our reaction. And of course, uh, when, we, when we do our reaction, um, let me turn the huckle off for a second, okay. Uh, we're going to do our reaction, and uh, we're going to get our product. And our, our product in this particular case is going to be a, a six-membered ring, of course. And uh, so uh, the, 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 and the with the double one double bond. And of course, you, you can draw arrows for this. Uh, we think of the butadiene as donating the electrons, so we draw our first arrow from the double bond here. Uh, to this carbon here, then this double bond has to swing up, attack that carbon, and then our th and our third arrow to do the cyclic system of six electrons is just that double bond uh, moving over to, to get this system. So that's all uh, uh, quite uh, simple. Now, uh, where things get much more interesting, okay, is let me let me uh, modify this a little bit. Let me get rid of my arrows, okay, and uh, let me get rid of the product too temporarily. Let's put some uh, substituent groups on here. Let's put a uh, let's put an electron donating group upon our, our our butadiene. Now, why the butadiene? Well, because that's the electron donor in the reaction. And what I want to do is I want to make it a better electron donor. And the way to do that is to stick something on here which has some lone pairs. Simplest thing you can do is actually uh, an oxygen of lone pairs. So let me put this over here, and uh, this has now got some some lone pairs. So now, in terms of uh, uh, resonance structures, we know that there's lone pairs here in this oxygen, okay? And what we can do is those lone pairs can donate into that diene system. So you would do this by drawing an arrow from the oxygen to this position. This double bond then would move over there. This double bond would move over there. And if we ask uh, Oscar to uh, calculate what happens, uh, Oscar says, well, it's, it's drawn, it turned it around, draw it. Oscar always draws the molecules way, way Oscar likes them, whether you like it or not. But anyway, of course, we've, we now have a partial positive charge on the oxygen, and we've, we, we, we've, we've built negative charge up on that uh, uh, carbon here. So uh, this is uh, 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 making the butadiene uh, work better because it now has actual negative charge to uh, donate. Now, how can we make the ethylene better? Well, the way to make the ethylene better is to uh, put an electron withdrawing group on it. And what's a good electron withdrawing group? Well, let's put on a carbonyl. And so here's a car. This is the simplest example of a carbonyl. This will now be uh, uh, electron uh, uh, accepting. 
And so uh, how does electron accepting work? Well, what, what, what happens is, is, well, that oxygen can fully accept uh, the, uh, the double bond. So we can, draw, we can draw an arrow like that. And then this double bond can move over. And so uh, let me, uh, let's ask Oscar to draw this one out. Okay. And, uh, oh, well, it, it drew them both because I still had them both there. So uh, we have uh, these, this situation uh, here now. So what's going to happen? Well, we see we're, we're already set up. Oscar's ready to go. This anion up here, this, is, this carbon here, wants to attack this carbon of, uh, of, 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 the, of the alkene. So the reaction actually is going to be from this carbon to that carbon, and uh, because plus is going to be attacked by minus. So let's get rid of this, get rid of this. We'll do a new set of arrows, forget all the resonance structures. We have just figured out that uh, the, this carbon here is going to be uh, negative, so this, this double bond here is going to come and attack. It's going to attack this carbon, which is positive. And then this double bond, we're going to cross over. We're going to go over here, and now we'll finish the six-membered ring that way. I mean, this looks kind of funny because I intentionally drew this backwards from the way I knew it was going to work. Uh, but it, it that, that's the, the way it all starts it out. So now we let Oscar draw the product. This is the product. And so this is a, 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 a something that you're always going to see is if you have... If you have your electron donor on the, one of the end carbons of your diene, uh, what is always going to be, it's going to end up 1, 2, in other words, neighboring to the electron acceptor group. So this is the electron drawing group here. This is the electron donating group. And they want to be next to each other, so-called 1, 2, uh, when, you, uh, when you do the reaction. Now, the, of course, we have another possibility we have to worry about. Let me go in again and erase these arrows. Okay is that I put that methoxy on the end carbon, but I didn't have to put it on the end carbon. Uh, I could, there's, I mean, butadiene, there's ends and there's middles. What if I put it in the middle? So now, let me put it on here. Okay, now I have my electron donating group on a different side. So what's this one going to do in terms of resonance? Again, well, we have our lone pairs here, okay, and uh, this lone pair can, sweep, can go in here, but now what it's going to do well, it's just going to go to the neighbor. So the uh, Oscar, when it draws, then it's, it's, going to put, it's going to put the negative charge on the neighboring carbon. Uh, so that's this carbon here. So this carbon is the negative charge one. Down here, this is still the positive one. So again, we're going to have negative attack uh, positive. And so let me draw the new set of arrows showing the chemical reaction. Uh, so the the carbon which is negative is this one, so this double bond will come down, attack this carbon, this double bond up over here, and again this is going to go around. There's no crossover this time because this one I've drawn correctly. Uh, and so again we'll ask about the product, and you'll see now the uh, electron withdrawing group is 1,4 to the electron donating group. So the general rule is the electron withdrawing group will be uh, 1, 2, in other words, neighboring, or 1, 4 from the electron donating group. Now, the best possible situation at all, of all, is to have two electron withdrawing groups. Or, I'm sorry, two electron donating groups. Well, two electron withdrawing groups would be good as well, but two electron donating groups on your diene. And, but if it's going to work well, they better be one in the middle, one on the end. So let's do that. Here's one in the middle, one on the end, but they got to be on opposite sides. So in this particular case, both of these groups want to do the same uh, uh, video chemistry. So uh, when we do our, our arrows here, click, 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 and move this one around, and come and let Oscar finish it, you'll see that the, our electron withdrawing group is 1, 2, to this methoxy, and it's one, two, three, four to the other methoxy, and you know every every everybody's happy. Now the fun thing about uh, all this is that let me just uh, do this. If you if I'm going to save the structure, I'm going to go home and I'm going to go to uh, Oscar Sin, 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going I'm going to erase the arrows because Oscar Sin knows how to do this reaction without the arrows. So see, there's the same product. We didn't have to draw the arrows. Let me draw some other combinations. Let me uh, let's go in here. We'll get rid of that. Let's do a different uh, electronic scepter. Let's uh, how about a cyanide? So we'll we'll draw in uh, nitrogen uh, next. And here's our cyanide. Let's do this reaction. And what do we what do we get? Well, it's 1,4. It's supposed to be 1,4. Uh, what if we change? Uh, let, 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 let me. Let's, I don't like oxygen anymore. Let me just say that. Let's let's get rid of that group. Okay. Well, is a methyl just good enough? What if we put a methyl on here? Well, oops, that's a nitrogen. Here's a methyl. Is a methyl good enough? Well, methyl can donate electrons from hyperconjugation. Do the reaction. God, it works. One, two, uh, to the nitro group. Uh, so anything that can serve as an electron donating group uh, will. Uh, uh, direct this thing in, in, in the proper manner. Now what we haven't said uh, is anything about the, the orientation up or down on these rings of the substituents and we'll do that in, in, in another video. But here is a good start on, on the, uh, the Diels-Alder reaction and uh, uh, you can play around with this, you know, drawing arrows uh, or you can, here in Oscar Sin, you can just draw your reactants and let Oscar figure out the regiochemistry. But uh, Think about, you know, the root of all this is, is back there, uh, either uh, 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 in looking at these resonance structures of these basic reactants to see where the positive, the negative charge uh, builds up. So uh, good luck with that all.